It's Throat Punch G again from Throat Punch Games. And today I did a massive contest on Twitter to figure out which one of my many backlog of games I was going to start playing. And Dice Hate Me Games was the first one to respond with Brew Crafters. This game is heavy and that makes me happy because it's also a semi-heavy Euro game. So let's crack into a cold one. So we've got a nice giant box. Nice fun graphics. Let's cut her open and see what's inside. And big heavy cardboard makes me happy. Alright, first thing we got is components in their own little bags, which makes me happy. Lots of nice wood things. Oh, I love bags. Because then it doesn't fly everywhere. All the different type of resources in the game. Hops. Yeast. Wheat. Coffee. And meeples. Also really cute in this one. The start player marker is a little cup of beer. Awesome. More bags. Makes me even happier. Big old stack of cards for the different type of workers you can get, as well as different type of ingredients you can make. So we have ales, porter, stouts, all the different types of beer you can make in the game, and then the different type of workers, different ones you can add to your game. So there's going to be a lot of different replayability depending on which ones come out in the flop. We have little cheat cards. Um, this game does go up to uh, five players, so that makes me happy. Usually it doesn't get stuck in the uh, two to four player trap. And then you've got the additional interesting things. You can have coffee roasters and spice importers, which makes some interesting strange brew combinations. We've got a giant instruction book, which reading through it online, not that deep, not that difficult. You know, there's space. It's a little more crowded than I'd like, but there's at least enough here that uh, I don't feel like I'm reading through a giant Stephen King tome. All right, and then the the fun stuff: giant sheets of cardboard to punch out. We've got money. Different types of beers, so you can get your points at the end of the game. Different locations. What kind of makes this game stick out for me is it's two separate games. As opposed to your single worker placement game. This one, all players take turns putting their meeples out here. And then you have your own individual player board where after you gain your resources from the communal meeple phase, you put your workers out here, and they either research, brew beer, uh, sell beer for you. So you have two different levels of worker placement, and I love levels in games. So we have worker boards, research boards for brewery actions. This game, um, there's 12 rounds, um, but just like any good worker placement game you're going to have to pay at the end of so many rounds for upkeep so there's a little bit of stress in the game to make things move along um, there's research so you can develop your own individual strategies so now that we've got this giant mass of components opened up I'm looking forward to crack into this one and give it a few good tries uh, this is Throat Punch G, G on Twitter and at ThroatPunchGames.com. Uh, look forward to seeing you there. Bye.